Crypto, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got a massive BBC upset, BBC Samurai situation happening in the community. Massive upset, okay? I never thought that after months, like after how many months? Three months, right? Four months maybe even? We're gonna be talking about this situation again and again and again, okay? Because the situation is wilder than if Yellowstones was to blow the hell up tomorrow, okay? Like, this situation is crazy, alright? Now, the situation here is this, okay? First of all, like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, okay? I wish, I wish, guys, I wish I could say psych, okay? Like, seriously, I wish I could say psych. These suckers are all about inclusivity and all that, and I'm like, damn, that's good, right? Damn, that's good, right? Of course, we all don't want, we all hit the first DEI bullcrap, but generally speaking, diversity is good. But you know what? These suckers believe in diversity so much that these suckers have a first of all, salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> This second, damn, damn, Captain BBC going crazy right now. Sheesh, man, no competition, man. But these seconds believe in diversity so much that now they are excluding men. Oh, shit. Oh. Ubisoft has a mentorship program, and I wish I could say psych. I really wish I could say psych, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is going on in gaming right now? Bruh! I thought this was fake news till I saw it, and I got two video clips that I want to share with you guys. Yes, not one, but two! <laughs> Ubisoft mentorship and they got a mentorship program. Damn, this like is crazy. Ubisoft mentorship program developed at Ubisoft, so they're proud, discriminates against males based on their uh cannot say that word on YouTube. YouTube might think that we're talking something else there, but damn, this like is crazy. And there are receipts out here uh for two people that might not get it. Apparently, they have a mentorship program, they have a real program, okay documents ready written in english written in the francais as well they got documents ready on that it specifically mentioned no men allowed okay uh allegedly okay but but it says that hey like it's gonna be just for the females and the non-binary i mean if you're a man you can basically act like a female or you can be like hey i am a female then they will let you in but if you say that you're a man they're not gonna let you in, ladies and gentlemen. This situation, I wish I could say psych right now, man. Like, brothers out here looking like this right now, man. Suckers be looking like this, man. Some of you guys out there are probably like, hey, man, I was eating a cookie and now I, I cannot even finish it. I mean, goddamn, like, this situation, crazy. Damn, these suckers crazy, okay? Shout out to the homie Asman Gold. I got a clip, like, I want to share with you guys. Two clips, okay? Let's go. Let's get down to it, man. Uh oh What we're it. seeing here is the fall off of the century. Assassin's Creed put out a trailer. Uh, yeah. This is really. Uh, I hope that. Um, I hope the investors see this. After four hours of this trailer being released, it only has ninety-one thousand views. Can a brother get? Can a brother get two likes on the video? Guys? Oh wow! Wow, grass looking good. You tell me this game's got grass on it. I'm not sure horses are supposed to move like that. I, I read so many comments, some people were saying, and the best comment, the best comment uh, that I read was that, hey, I didn't know that that horse was gonna moonwalk like Michael Jackson. Uh oh, point 0.25. Holy, you better see the glory. Imagine, uh, and this is a promotional trailer, guys. So, if the promotional trailer is like that, imagine the game. I can't. Shout out to the homie Rev says the issue. Roll this. So to say 2024 has been a rough year for Ubisoft for it, would be an it. understatement. However, today we have some even more unfortunate developments for them to report on. Now, a lot of people have been focusing on the disastrous launch of Star Wars Outlaws that has left many people disappointed, including the investors, especially yeah, after this release coincided with another drop in their stock. Currently, the Ubisoft stock is at an all-time low for the last 10 years. Now, people are coupling the release of Star Wars Outlaws with some demands also being made by very disgruntled investors who are making some very tough demands yeah. of Ubisoft in an attempt to turn this thing around, including making the, the company private, selling the company, and even firing the CEO. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse in the oh, current shit. environment for Ubisoft, another bomb drops right here. So this headline alone is making these investors fall out of their chair. Okay, it says this. Ubisoft mentorship program developed at Ubisoft discriminates against males based on their sex. There it is. This thing is crazy. 
In other words, in other words, they said that no men allowed. What the hell? Bruh, that's like half of us, man. Like that's like the almost give or take half of the, the entire planet's uh, population, right? Like half men. Oh, of course, like give or take, right? Like maybe sometimes it could go down to maybe 49%. Sometimes it's like 50, sometimes 48. Okay, whatever, but it's like almost half, right? Damn, this thing is crazy, man. So they're saying that no men allowed. Bruh, make it make sense, man. This is insane, man. Like, holy crap. Only in the year 2024, man. Man, like, bruh, I, I cannot compute it. I really cannot compute this. They're like, hey, no men allowed, no men. But, of course, men would be allowed if you identify yourself as a female. So if you go there, if you're working there, you gotta be like, I guess, um, you know, to be part of the, the, the team. You gotta be like, I am a strong, independent queen. You know, I... Uh, what about, like, people that wanna identify as, like, an attack shopper? See, like, th this, like, is crazy, man. Like, can a brother perhaps see you let people that identify as an attack shopper in the company? Bruh. Or, or are they also not allowed? Because uh, what I'm getting is that only females and uh, men that uh, allow themselves uh, or identify themselves as females, right? Men, basically. But if you are, if you're a man and you identify yourself as a man, you cannot be in there. You know what? It's getting very complicated. I just want to say uh, salute to the Captain BBC. All right, let's uh, let's get down to it. Yup, this sounds like a program in the gaming industry in the year 2024. So let's look into this Crazy, program. Bro. Develop at Ubisoft. At Ubisoft, we want to build the most creative, diverse, and inclusive teams, and that's exactly what Develop at Ubisoft is all about. Empowering and supporting underrepresented genders. Yes, queen! Yeah. The program provides Yay! mentorship opportunities for women and non-binary individuals. And they're not kidding about that requirement because it is literally in their eligibility criteria. You must I didn't. Yeah, you must. Okay, so they don't specifically say no men allowed. I mean, they are saying, allegedly, allegedly, right? They are saying allegedly no men allowed, but in reality, what they're, I mean, they're saying that because, like, they're saying, hey, you must identify as a woman. Uh, to be fair, though, they're not even saying, like, uh, they need a woman. They're saying, like, if you identify as a woman. So if you're like a woman, a, a real woman, you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm a woman, I'm a, I'm a strong, independent woman, right? So yeah, you're gonna be in. But if you're a man and you look like a man, then you're not allowed. Unless you say you identify as a woman, then you're allowed though, all uh, right? But if you're a man and you you are proud to be a man, nowadays suckers are not even proud to be men though. That's crazy though. Like the video if you're proud to be a man, man. <laughs> a man, man. You know what I'm saying? Like crazy situation, bro, crazy. Identify as a woman or a non-binary individual crazy. to even apply. Bruh. That is crazy. In the Bruh. year 2024, the progressives are so progressive, they're actually backwards. They're openly sharing a discriminatory hiring practice right here. They're saying, men, you cannot apply for this position that is literally about making video games. That is crazy. It shows you that identity is more important than the yeah. actual resume you bring forward. This is ridiculous. And also, it opens up Pandora's box, right? It's not so close-ended. It's open-ended. It says, if you identify. So what is stopping a potential candidate here from just identifying as a woman or non-binary? What's stopping exactly. a biological man who identifies as a man from simply listing themselves as a woman or non-binary on their application? Now, to be fair, though, they also made it a little bit easier to join the program. Uh, how you might ask, well, I mean, if you're a man, right, like, you can just be like, hey, I identify as a female. I'm strong, independent queen. Yes, queen, go queen, right? You just gotta be like that and they will let you in. So in a way, they have lowered the bar, essentially. They have kind of like made it easy for the men to join. Listen, man, I'm just trying to find tactics here, man. I'm just trying to find strategies for all the folks out here that might want to get in on the, you know, the Ubisoft mentorship program. Right? Like, yeah, like it's kind of tough being a man right now in 2024. Yeah, like imagine you're, you're born as a wrong gender, as they like to say, right? <laughs> and your, your dream is to become a game designer in 2024. <laughs> and you're like, man, Ubisoft is not gonna let me in man and damn man like i don't want to go uh you know uh, yeah right like i, I just want to i just want to join i just want to make games right and ubisoft is like no <laughs> men not allowed men not allowed so then you gotta be like okay man what about this okay i identify as a female you know what I'm and then they would be like yeah then they will let you in man then i swear to god bro i i wish i could say psych i yeah i'm still waiting for them to say psych Whatever, what, what's going on? What, 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 what's going on in gaming, man? Yeah, salute to Captain BBC! 
Damn, this thing is crazy, man. Like another again, man. This situation raging wildfires big time. Oh, 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 oh he put the mask on. She also put the mask on. Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Like, what is Ubisoft gonna do to combat that? Are they just gonna say you're a liar? Because that wouldn't look very good for such a diverse programmer, right? To not believe someone's identity. Yeah. But it gets worse because people realize this isn't exactly new. This program, by their own admission, is in its fourth year now, fourth year in a row, developed at Ubisoft has been doing this mentorship program based on these identity requirements. And digging deeper into the history of Ubisoft, these sorts of programs are not surprising. In fact, the then Vice President of Global Diversity, Inclusion, and Accessibility at Ubisoft said in an interview back in 2022, when they were asked, what is your key priorities for your team over the next couple of months? Her top priority was their first ever global self-identification program where we invite team members to share additional information voluntarily and confidentially about their identity, such as gender identity, race, slash ethnicity, Bruh. or disability. Because apparently these things are really important towards making a goddamn video game. And also yeah. we know yeah. if those characteristics are white or male, you're probably not getting a lot of points with the company but going forward in that same interview she man would... these things are so crazy like listen they use lgbt people as shields first of all they also use black people as shields and they always make black people gay in the game so that's what's going on they are obviously made yasuke gay as well and again like i gotta say this uh this is based off of a real life person who was not gay but they still made him gay right if he was gay in real life then makes sense to make him as he was in real life in the game right makes sense right you're basically making a game on a historical uh historically accurate right you're using a real life person so you're gonna portray him as he was in real life but these suckers are like nah man he black so we gotta make him gay right so using lgbt people as shields okay uh, using black people as shields making them gay all the time uh and, and and being racist towards all the asian people as well they love that right they absolutely love that uh they openly admit and they openly say hey if you're white we don't want you if you're a white man oh hell no like you can get that f out right like any white people watching this video let me know any any of my black homies watching this video yeah man damn this thing is crazy they always make y'all gay man and, and i'm brown bro Got, I got zero representation. <laughs> brown people? Who cares about brown people? Brown people can go pounce and these are just racist towards everybody, man. Where's my representation? I am South Asian, okay? I'm Pakistani, okay? Bruh. Yeah, I'm ethnically brown, bruh. I'm ethnically brown. I might not look like it, but I'm ethnic. I am, I mean, and I didn't give myself that term. The world calls that that area that place of the you know that region brown yeah like i'm <laughs> yeah so using lgbt people as shields uh, always making black people gay right uh <laughs> white people yeah so can go pound sand we're gonna openly say that they say that right they openly say that brown people zero zero existence and asian people okay bro we just gotta kill them in the game left and right bro let let yeah let's be ultra racist towards asian people bro what is what is going on man like this is 2024 where is my representation at where is my representation at as a brown man i demand my representation too bro by the way i'm joking but well yeah I, I don't need representation but the stuff that i said i'm not joking man like this is what they're doing man they openly admit that hey uh, like white people they 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 hate white men they openly they have said it countless times i mean we also saw that xbox uh, exec right that higher up that happened a couple of months ago that openly talked about uh, she don't like working with white people bro like white people bad and she was white herself <laughs> crazy yeah, absolutely crazy these things are crazy man these things are racist towards everybody bro brag about how many more female employees they have gotten into the company in fact she said that basically half of their executive committee are now women at Ubisoft, which again, there's nothing wrong with hiring a woman or anyone based on their merit of their work, but it seems like at Ubisoft, they are hiring people based on their identity first and then their qualifications next. next. And it's really showing with the products that have been coming out for Ubisoft. The last couple of years have been a disaster. And also the fact that during this span of years, this program and mentorship has existed, the stock has plummeted steadily. Yeah. Maybe this is the maybe Yasuke is reading the mentorship program right now, and, and he like uh oh uh oh I'm a man I better call myself a Captain BBC. Right, salute to the Captain BBC man. Damn, these suckers crazy, bro. Like holy crap. Like where how what 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 is going on in gaming, man? And I know y'all suckers laughing out there, bro. But like damn, bro. But I I know they're saving us a lot of money, but like damn, bro. What is going on in gaming, bro? 
we, we deserve better than this piece of trash, bro. Like, we had better games during the PS3 era. And Ubisoft was actually a good company back in the days. I remember, uh, you know, growing up, like, playing the older Assassin's Creed game. Like, uh, so yeah, Ubisoft was actually good. They, they were, um, yeah, back in the days, they had really good games. In fact, mostly all the publishers had really good games. And I enjoyed my time. And, you know, Suckers enjoyed that time. The, the games uh, were really good with the story. No BS, no politics, no microtransactions. Sometimes there would be bugs here and there, but it's like, hey, whatever, right? Uh, people acted like they, they discover an Easter egg whenever we used to have glitches back in the days because they were, you, you know, unique, right? They were kind of rare at times, too. So people wouldn't even be like, oh, whatever, right? Like, people are like, damn, that's an Easter egg we found. Damn, that glitch is crazy. And people used to be like, okay, let's do those glitches in the games, right? Now, of course, whenever we find, it's it's been so common that people are just joking around, like that horse uh, gliding glitch in the actual trailer. So could you imagine what happens in the, the final game? If the promotional trailer that was carefully put together, that was carefully planned, carefully put together, carefully uploaded, if that is considered uh, by the community to be bad i mean it is bad that's why the community is considering that to be bad right like duh but uh, yeah so if you if that is that bad imagine the final game right and now they got these, these mentorship programs this and that men not allowed bro what are we doing here as as humans like who do we like talk to right now man what what, what are we doing to ourselves what are we doing to ourselves, man? Like, damn, this look is crazy, bro. And honestly, the jokes just write themselves at this point. But I'm glad this article also used a image from Skull and Bones. Uh, this is a Ubisoft game that I didn't even realize released earlier this year. So this is another 2024 disaster for Ubisoft. And I've been meaning to talk about Skull and Bones. And it's been, it's been very relevant recently because a lot of people are sharing some financial uh, estimates and analytics that people have been making regarding Ubisoft and its stock. They're saying that not only are the estimated copies of Star Wars Outlaws and other Ubisoft products going way down, but also the value of the stock is plummeting. And <laughs> in this, a lot of people expected their estimates to be based on Star Wars Outlaws or in the future Assassin's Creed Shadows, but that's not the case. They made these estimates based on two AAA games that have already gone out, Skull and Bones and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, uh, wrong, wrong. wrong. Uh, that was a quadruple A game, not a triple A game. Right. Now, a source, Ubisoft. Ubisoft themselves said that that was a quadruple A game. Skull and Bones was a quadruple A game, according to Ubisoft. Oh, Skull and Bones is listed here, and let's talk about Skull and Bones. Okay, this game, an absolute disaster for Ubisoft. So back in 2013, Assassin's Creed Black Flag comes out, right? And you know, honestly, I did enjoy the game. It had problems a little bit, I believe, right? But but I did enjoy the game. This one, this one, Assassin's Creed 2 gotta be my favorite. I believe I even got Assassin's Creed 2 back in the days on PS3 Platinum as well. Bro, that was legendary, man. That game was legendary, and it was a hard Platinum. I believe the last two trophies that I had to uh, get in order to get the Platinum were ridiculously hard. I don't remember what exactly I needed to do to get those, but uh, I, I just had that memory, like it was it was actually pretty hard. Assassin's Creed 3, I don't remember much, but I played it. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, of course I played it as well. Uh, but A lot of people consider this kind of a middle of the road Assassin's Creed game, but they considered it a above average pirate themed yeah. game. And a lot of people were asking Ubisoft, to make a dedicated pirate themed game and that's what they immediately started developing with skull and bones long 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 story short this game was in development for nearly 11 years with hundreds of millions of dollars spent multiple changes of leadership multiple changes in the graphics of the game multiple changes in the direction of the game changing the game eleven years Eleven years. <laughs> Eleven years. Bruh. Bruh. Game from single There's player no to multiplayer. This game had so many different identities, it pretty much forgot who it was, right? And not only that, it took so long that eventually people just didn't want- Just like Ubisoft devs right now, they do not even know like who they are right now. You feel insane? <laughs> I, I'm just saying, man, identity crisis is a real thing right now, man. Like, damn, man, the devs having identity crisis, their games having identity crisis, everybody having identity crisis, man. Damn, these suckers crazy, bro. Not anything to do with this game. They lost their patience, and at one point, based on the very negative reactions to various previews of this game, there was a theory out there that Ubisoft was going to scrap 
this entire project. They are going to get rid of Skull and Bones. However, in 2021, some very interesting statements were alleged. It was alleged that they wanted to abandon this project. However, the Singapore government said no. Now, what's going on here? Well, <laughs> oh, when it comes shit. to Stolen Bones, Ubisoft trusted their Singapore office and developers to make this game. And in that, they made an agreement with the Singapore government, which apparently must have required Ubisoft to complete the game. So when they wanted to jump ship here, it was alleged that the Singapore government came in and said no. You are going... It was like a Singapore government that was like, nah, man, y'all both of each to finish the game. They're like, you gotta finish the game. And uh, yeah, so back in 2021, it should have been canceled, right? But the Singapore government was like, no, nah, bro, like y'all singers gotta finish the game, man. Y'all gotta finish the game. And, and they they had to put in more dollars, like more budget in order to finish it because the game was clearly not ready even back in 2021. These suckers crazy, man. Like, this is why I'm saying, man, bro, like, just, uh, oh shit, Cap S salute to Captain BBC! Damn man, Captain BBC was charging like crazy. Sheesh, 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 crazy! My guy crazy. Going to finish the slop, and that's exactly what they did. This game was an absolute disaster right from the get-go. So bad, not even the game's journalists and reviewers wanted to save this game. Even they gave this game a bad review, and they will do- Game Informer gave it 7.5, bruh. 4 out of 10, okay, understandable. iGen gave it 7 out of 10. I mean, <laughs> iGen always, bro. Like, this thing is crazy. Videogamer.com also gave it 7. Uh, the Guardian gave it more like a 6 because it's a 3 out of 5, so 6 out of 10, kind of. Okay, well, whatever. 7 out of 10, push square. Okay, this is a 7 out of 10, PC Gamer. 68 out of 100 almost means a 7 out of 10. Yeah, how is that even a 7 out of 10 game, bro? Like, what, 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 what the hell? What, 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 what? anything for Ubisoft and their products. I mean, they will literally rewrite Japanese history to help support Assassin's Creed Shadows. So the fact that they let Skull and Bones just rot, that tells you how bad the game was. And also, the release was also complicated by a horrible statement made by the Ubisoft CEO right before its release, only days before the release. He justified the $70 price tag saying mm. it's a quadruple A game. This would go down as one of the most ill-advised statements ever made in the history of gaming okay this would be memed on relentlessly the first attempt yeah. at a quadruple a game Crazy. and what happens it absolutely fails only weeks after release it was reported that less than 1 million players total were playing this game <laughs> included in that number are free, free trial. trial players Bruh. so not even all of that number are paying customers a lot of them were free <laughs> trial players but you know what for the sake of it let's just say all of them were paying the 70 bucks for this game yeah. and let's even round it up to a million dollars right so they sold 70 or a uh, million copies at $70 a pop, $70 million. How does that look? Well, not very good because the alleged budget was 200 million. So there even giving them the, the there oh we go. Oh God! Yeah, get woke, go uh, go woke, bro. Uh, get woke, go broke, bruh. Uh, guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done, man. This was absolutely crazy. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. If you have not seen it, check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man. Crazy drama, man. Crazy drama, y'all. I don't think y'all are ready for that one.